My name is Brian Curtis. I am a partner in MC2 Design Group. Um, we worked with Butte College for about 15 years. We're the agency of record for them. I met Joel and Laurel about three years ago. It was kind of interesting that he and his wife, they met at Butte College and kind of had a career track that was very successful. He, she's an optometrist and he's a, a senior manager at Ernst & Young. And I just, I really thought, you know, their story was one of, uh, kind of starting off kind of humbly and, and moving into this kind of success that they've had um, because of education and it just resonated with me because um, that's what Butte College is about. You know, it's uh, helping students become successful and finding careers that are, are a good fit for them. I grew up in Chico and uh, kind of always knew I wanted to do uh, something with a college career and uh, get into something neat, although I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I had a less than stellar uh, academic career in high school uh, and since I lived here I needed to uh, tidy up my resume before transferring to university, I, I went to Butte College. I already sort of knew that I wanted to major in, in like biology or some sort of sciences. Um, aside from that, I, I kind of just wanted to get some classes out of the way and figure out, you know, really what, what my passion was. Uh, moving into higher education, uh, even if it was lower division classes and in some cases remedial classes, uh, was a big change from, from high school and uh, you know, doing it after working all day in a physical job was, uh, was tiring. And then trying to find the time to, to do homework and, and actually succeed at the classes while, while uh, you know, fitting it in around the rest of my life was pretty difficult. The leaders there really cared and they really spent a lot of even one-on-one -on -one time with you whenever you needed it. And so I think that just gave you kind of the confidence to move forward and go on to the next classes. I figured out while I was at Butte that I, I really liked things in the math, math and sciences, um, eventually settled on engineering and since I had always liked airplanes as a kid, I decided I wanted to, to do aerospace engineering. I took all the kind of lower science level classes there, um, uh, like math and science and physics. Um, I, I, definitely that's where I kind of got my start. When I transferred to uh, university, I went to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. And most of the classmates I had there had gone directly to university. They'd taken AP classes in high school. You know, they'd done really well. Um, and all of them asked me how I knew the lower division subjects so well. And it occurred to me that while, you know, they were nominally uh, smarter or better prepared on paper, they'd taken these classes from tired grad students in 400-person lecture halls. And I took these classes from you know, experienced teachers who really cared about their students in 15 or 20 person classes. When I was a, a third year student, but um, uh, it was a 20 something year old girl that her parents didn't understand that she had an eye condition and she um, basically kind of just stopped doing life. She couldn't get her driver's license. She didn't end up finishing high school, didn't go to college. And so as a student being there, we had little trial lenses that weren't perfect, but at least try, you know, put something on her eye just to kind of you know, see what the potential vision would be. And um, pretty much everyone in the room just cried because she was like, oh, you can see like the wood grain or you can see like the buttons on your shirt. And I mean, that's what just drew me in. I was like, I want to do that all the time. So I got a few really cool things out of Butte. Uh, I would say first and foremost, I met uh, the woman who would eventually become my wife. So that was, that was a good one. I was taking a physics class. Um, at the time and they had the drop-in tutoring session in the LRC and one of my classmates said oh you got to meet this guy Joel he knows his stuff um, so I don't know one day we we're working on some homework together and he's like oh let's go ask Joel uh, I mean I pretty much didn't get any other tutor after that <laughs> Uh, I thought that Laurel was one of the most beautiful girls I'd ever seen. That was, that was my first impression of her. I don't know what I was picturing when I was picturing a math tutor um, or physics tutor. Um, but we went up to the little table that said, you know, physics tutor drop in. And 
when he walked up, he just has blonde curly hair. There must have been a backlight behind him. It's just like bouncing curly blonde hair. And I don't know, I can't describe it. Um, and I was, I was not picturing that at all and that's probably what <laughs> attracted me to him. I, I liked that she was uh, like nice and sweet but also uh, liked to do things outdoors and wasn't afraid to get dirty and um, I don't know, that was, it just, I, I, was, I was quite infatuated when I first met her. Although I like to say, because it's a little unethical to date you know, people that you're helping at work, I like to say she pursued me. I did not pursue her, so it's her fault. I mean, everybody there was just so supportive and so phenomenal. Um, I mean, that's, I'm so proud to have gone to Butte College. Butte College especially provides for, you know, firefighting or, you know, nursing or, um, you know, emergency um, services, agriculture. I mean, hands down, it's, so vital to this community. You know, growing up here, uh, I always kind of wanted to leave and go do something else. Uh, and when Laurel found the perfect job opportunity here, uh, it was it was a little shocking and I was kind of, I don't know, a little trepidatious about moving back. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, but having moved back, I can see why my parents moved here in the first place and yeah, I really like living here and it's been great to be able to go out experience the world a little bit and and bring it back to to my hometown which is a place that uh, is wonderful. Joel, Laurel, uh, I'm super proud to um, have nominated you guys. I think you're uh, shining examples of people that have uh, migrated through Butte College and, and uh, moved into very successful careers and I think that you're um, great influences in other people that will attend Butte College um, through your example. Well, I guess I should thank uh, definitely my family, definitely my husband. Um, uh, I should probably thank Brian Curtis, who I think nominated us. Um, but also, I mean, this has been such an incredible honor um, to be recognized for this. So, I mean, thank you for all of you. <laughs> There are a few great teachers I had at Butte College that I would like to thank for this. Uh, first and foremost, Rich Bigler, who is still my favorite math teacher ever. Uh, Michael Panuto was my physics teacher there and got me started on a, a good career in aerospace engineering, even though it was just a physics class. Um, and Keiko Takuda, who is my Japanese teacher, uh, got me some lifelong Japanese friends, so yes. And how does it feel? Um, it feels great, actually. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have anything better than that, sorry.